After 12 rounds, who's back off the pace. Looked to be travelling pretty well, though, from Jatumi Seamy, Sizzle, Lord Conrad. And dropping out last under plenty of pressure coming around the turn is Imposing Dreamer. At the top of the straight, 3.50 left to go. Key to fame taken on by Scales of Justice and Great Shot. They've kicked away this trio. Three in front of Sigil, the Cobbler, Early Sun, then Dusha Zachetsky. Scales of Justice, Harvey draws the whip. He got the upper hand over Great Shot. Key to fame, Scales of Justice. He's starting to pull away from them and he's drawn clear scales of justice he won at a length and a half key to fame great Lindsay shot first got to just discuss how good this horse looked out of every race so far this is a pick of the day by a long way look tremendous yeah they always look good after they win but uh now he's a, a nice looking horse he's big scopey angular looking horse so he's a horse that uh you know i think he'll race you know race on he'll be six or seven i think he's uh, the further he goes you'll find that he'll be able to roll up on the space a bit over 2,000 metres and uh, win a few races. You were mentioning that to me off air there, and then obviously the Belmont Guineas will be a nice race, and then you said the 2,000 metres plus. So these runs behind perfect reflection and last that over the 13 to win over 14 days, it's just raw ability getting him through? Yeah, I, yeah, I know the Guineas will be a strong race and it might be a bit of a buffet for him. But, you know, it's 100,000. There's no other race they can go in on. And then he'll most likely head to the... Um, the Diana and the, if he runs that, he'll go to the Belmont Classic. If he pulls up well, would you be tempted to go around again next week and have that quick back up? Oh, I love racing him, and uh, Wellesley needs the money, so <laughs> it's, if he does pull up, but I think I might start him uh, next week, but uh, we'll just see how he is. How much improvement has he still got from what we just saw out there? Uh, fitness, fit, fitness wise, he's, uh, he's spot on, but just, I, I just think it'd be better when he's in a longer race where he can ride along a little bit, but I'll see what Paul says. Well, as you said, look tremendous out there. Congratulations on your training effort. Cheers. Thanks very much. Lucky now, Paul Harvey. Paul just mentioned to uh, Lindsay as well, that horse looked tremendous in the yard. Uh, how did he feel? Yeah, good, yeah. Um, probably probably the best he, he's felt, but he's um, never disappointed us. He's always run through the line really strong, and I think as the, the um, distances step up, uh, so should he. You seem to have extreme confidence in the horse out there today. Happy just to let him carry you into the race? Yeah, like, like I'd like to be bowling a little bit further than home than, than save him for a sprint because, as I said, he's always run through the line. So that gives you a little bit of faith that he'll keep finishing it off. You both mentioned the same thing there, that this horse is going to get better with distance. So how talented is he to be winning over the 1,400 metres at the moment? Uh, yeah, I think he showed a little bit of talent over winning over 1,100 early days. 1,400, not so much. Um, but, yeah, so... Going forward a mile and upwards, we'll see how we go. Well, we appreciate the chat. Well done. Cheers.